Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from ISI MSTAT 2021, problem number 9 from the PSB section. Problem says that consider a linear regression model yi equals to alpha plus beta xi plus ei i from 1 up to n, where xi's are fixed and ei's are iid random errors with mean 0 and variance sigma square. Define two estimators of beta as follows. Beta 1 hat is summation yi by summation xi and beta 2 hat is summation xi yi, yi divided by summation xi square. So obtain, the first question is obtain an unbiased estimator of beta as a linear combination of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. And secondly, find the MSE, the mean squared errors of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat, which between beta, beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat has lower mean squared error. So let us first concentrate on the first question. So obtain an unbiased estimator of beta as a linear combination of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So let lambda 1 and lambda 2 be two real numbers such that expectation of lambda 1 hat, lambda 1 into beta 1 hat plus lambda 2 into beta 2 hat is equal to beta for all alpha beta in the parameter space. This is capital theta, strip theta. So this is alpha and beta are the parameters, right? We already know that alpha and beta are the parameters. So for this to be an unbiased estimator of beta, this expectation should be equal to beta for all alpha beta in the parameter space, right? So this is nothing but lambda 1 into expectation of beta 1 hat plus lambda 2 into expectation of beta 2 hat is equal to beta. This is this is beta, not beta hat. This is beta. This is beta. So first, let us find expectation of beta 1 hat. So expectation of beta 1 hat is nothing but expectation of summation yi by summation xi as it is given beta 1 hat is summation y by summation xi. Now xi is a fixed obviously as it is given. So this is nothing but summation expectation of y divided by summation xi. Now expectation of y is nothing but alpha plus beta xi. These are all fixed. These are parameters. Alpha and beta are parameters and xi are fixed. And ei, ex, yeah, the expectation of, of ei are zero. So that, that means the expectation of y is nothing but alpha plus beta xi, right? This is parameter. Alpha is a parameter, beta is a parameter, and x is, xi is fixed. And EI is the only, only, only random variable having expectation 0. That means the expectation of YI is nothing but alpha plus beta XI. So here, summation alpha plus beta XI divided by summation XI, which is nothing but N into alpha plus beta summation XI by summation XI. This is expectation of beta 1 hat. Again, expectation of beta 2 hat, just similarly, expectation of beta 2 hat is summation XI by I divided by summation XI squared. So this is again constant. This one is constant. So this is summation xi into expectation of yi divided by summation xi square. So that is again summation xi into alpha plus beta xi divided by summation xi square. Ultimately, it is alpha into summation xi plus beta into summation xi square divided by summation xi square. This is the expectation of beta 2 hat, right? So that means expectation of lambda 1 into beta 1 hat plus lambda 2 into beta 2 hat is equals to beta. For all alpha beta in the parameter space, this means this this entire expression, this one, this entire LHS is equal to beta, right? So that means just writing this in terms of alpha and beta, just you know, taking the coefficients of alpha one side and beta one side. This is this lambda one into n divided by summation xi, this one, plus lambda two into summation xi by summation xi square, whole multiplied by alpha, plus lambda one into lambda two into beta is equal to beta. This is true. This this has to be true. For all alpha beta, so that otherwise it wouldn't be an unbiased estimator. So since it is true for all alpha beta, that means it must be this holds for all alpha beta in the parameter space. Therefore, this part, this part must be has to be zero since here there is no alpha, so it has to be zero, and this part has to be one. This part has to be zero, and this part has to be one, right? So solving these two. These two equations, these two equations for lambda 1 and lambda 2, very easily solvable. We get ultimately lambda 1 equals to summation xi whole square divided by summation xi whole square minus n into summation xi square, right? And lambda 2 is nothing but 1 uh, one minus lambda 1. Therefore, lambda 1 beta 1 hat plus lambda 2 beta 2 hat is an unbiased estimator of beta where lambda 1 is this and lambda 2 is this. So basically, we have found out a linear combination of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat such that the entire linear combination is unbiased estimator of beta, right?
now we have done the first part this part this part is done this part is done now for the second part the msc of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat so msc of beta 1 hat is nothing but variance of beta 1 hat plus expectation of beta 1 hat minus beta whole square this is the bias of beta 1 hat right so the variance of beta 1 hat is actually what this part is again constant. So this is summation x i whole square, right? This comes out to be one by summation x i whole square, and this is summation variance of beta, uh, variance of y a. Now, if you go back to the question, this is constant again. This part is constant, and x and e i has a variance of sigma square. That that means variance of y i. This variance of y is nothing but the variance of e i, and variance of e i is sigma square. Therefore, variance of y i is also sigma square. That is, this is sigma square, and this is running from one to n, right? So, n sigma square by summation xi whole square. This is the variance of beta 1 hat. And the expectation we have already calculated. So, expectation of beta 1 hat minus beta is nothing but expectation of beta 1 hat is this, right? So, MSE of beta 1 hat is this variance of beta 1 hat plus the bias square, right? So, this is the MSE of beta 1 hat. This is the MSE of beta 1 hat. Similarly, the variance of beta 2 hat is. For the for calculating MSC of beta 2, the variance of beta 2 hat is variance of summation xi y i by summation xi square. This is again squaring this thing and summation xi square into variance of y i. Right? Xi's are obviously constant, these are fixed. So variance this ultimately turns out to be sigma square by summation xi square. This is the variance of beta 2 hat. And variance of beta 2 and expectation of beta 2 hat is already known. This is this, right? That means the MSC of beta 2 hat is sigma square by summation xi square plus alpha into summation xi by summation xi square whole square, right? Now we have already found out the MSC of beta 1 hat is beta 2 hat. So, part questions, uh, so some part of the question has already been done. Now, the last part remains is which one is greater than what? So, by the CS inequality, that means by the Cauchy squads inequality, summation xi square into summation 1 square. Is greater than equal summation xi whole square, right? By the Cauchy squares inequality. That means here uh, summation is actually one from n, one from running from one to n, all running from one to n. So n into summation xi square, this thing for n into summation xi square is actually greater than equal summation xi whole square, right? That means n by summation xi whole square is greater than equals one by summation xi square, right? That means multiplying both sides by sigma square, n into sigma square by summation xi whole square is greater than equal sigma square by summation xi square. Right? This is suppose this is part, this is one, this is inequality one. Right? So as you can see, this this is inequality one, right? This is clearly following from the Cauchy squares inequality. Now for the second part, again, this n into from this Cauchy squares inequality, n into summation xi square is greater than equal summation xi whole square. That means Squaring this n squared into summation xi square whole square is greater than equals summation xi whole to the four. That means this multiplying alpha square both sides we have n square by summation xi whole square is greater than equals summation xi whole square by summation xi square whole square. Right? This just follows from this. All I have did was this taking this term to the right to the denominator of the right and this part. This the half the only the summation xi square. This is summation xi square into summation xi square, right? So taking one of them here, this this thing here, and the remaining part here, right? If you multiply this one and this one, this goes back to the same thing. It becomes the same thing, same thing, right? It becomes over to the four. So this is inequality two. This is easily follow again from the Cauchy squares inequality. We haven't used anything else. So from these two inequalities, if we add these two inequalities, we get. MSC of beta 1 hat is greater than equals MSC of beta 2 hat. Why? Because see, MSC of beta 1 hat, we have already known this. This is the MSC of beta 1 hat, this thing. And this is the MSC of beta 2 hat. So adding these two inequalities, this, this inequality 1 and this inequality 2, we can see that beta 1 hat has a greater MSC. So beta 2 hat has the lesser MSC among the between the two of them. So there you have it, the solution to this problem. It was very easy, actually. It was really easy. All you needed to do was calculating the expectations and variance. That's it. It is very easy. So, so it's yeah, quite easy. So there you have the solution to this problem. See you till next time. Bye.